Good evening everybody, I'm Stephen Graham, and welcome to my review of Doctor Who Series 12 Episode 7, Can You Hear Me? Uh, there may be some minor spoilers ahead, so if you're having spoiled, turn off now. So, Can You Hear Me? Uh, Seth starts off in 1380 Aleppo, a hospital, um, where this girl is running, takes refuge, and long story short, she talks about sort of seeing the place up, and everybody's going to get caught out, and... The end, the, we shortly after it's at night time, something raids the building and chases after him, but for some reason comes after her and leaves her alone. And then we jump ahead to modern day, or present day. Uh, the Doctor's dropped her gang back in Sheffield. Um, there they see friends and family. Um, so, you know, Graham goes to a card game. Um, Yaz meets up with her sister. Um, um, Ra meets up with an old friend, Tibbo, um, to be his old best mate to sort of liaise and so forth. Well, Doctor decides to go sort of for a little bit on adventure by herself. Uh, she takes a trip to Aleppo and finds the girl from earlier. And the other three sort of gradually over the course of the episode combine together. They find they've all got a similar shared experience that all sort of ties together. It's a... I actually quite enjoyed this episode. Um, it's very much a... You know, let's find out what's going on. Let's say by saw what this is linked together, and they all meet up and you know find themselves in the future and having to deal with quite an old enemy in an old way. It's um, the enemy they face actually is quite interesting. A lot of callbacks to classic Doctor Who, um, but I don't want to support too much what it is. But the enemy, the main guy throws out so many callbacks to previous series um, of races the Doctor encountered back then. Some of the bad guys, amazing, brilliant, well done. I like the bad guys. However, they are rather underused. Um, they don't really. I don't think. I think they get dealt with rather too quickly and not finished. Are not. They don't feel so well utilised. And I felt they could do a lot more with them. And I actually thought the bad guys were being set up for um, use later on in the series. It felt that's where they were going. You know, this was like almost going to be like the sort of the big enemy of the rest of the season, but wasn't to be the case. And with the Times Child and that's all going on, it felt a bit like maybe they had something to do with it as well. So it was a bit, hmm, I thought that's what I thought we were saying, but that didn't turn out to be the case. But oh, good. But so they were dealt with very quickly, you know, they sort of started showing if they didn't have really much of a threat, um, didn't show off. It also does at the end uh, lean again a bit into the, the preachiness. Um, They've dealt with in this season a uh, heavy hand approach to global warming. We saw in episode two. This one does a similar thing of another subject. However, I will say to it, it sits very much on the right edge of it. It doesn't get quite too preachy. It's very well written and the character adds a bit of depth to all the characters involved. It doesn't push it too much. Um, it's just on the right side of preachiness that doesn't feel bad. It, very, it could have very easily gone over that edge, but actually, fact, it does it all right. So I have to say, I actually really, really enjoyed the way it went and, yeah, like this episode quite a lot. So under Carson Cruz, quite a surprising number of um, other characters in this episode. Um, all the main game, but get to be, they split up, so they get to sort of show his mouth off a little bit and sort of explore a little bit. Perhaps the exception of Graham, uh, whose character doesn't get used much in this episode, but that's okay, you know, you don't have to have every character used a lot. Um, but Yaz and Ron, I both felt, got to show off a little bit more, their characters are a bit more dealing, and how they actually acted people, and they felt more rounded up and usable in this episode, which is nice to see, because particularly the likes of Ryan, who's been a bit left over a little bit and left back a bit, he sort of was able to show off a little bit more in this episode, which was nice. Um, pretty good. Other main, I mean, there's loads of side characters in this one. I can't, I'm not going to go through them more. Uh, Zelen, the one I've got to speak to is Zelen by Ian Gelder, who, um, he's been actually, he's been Torchwood. Um, he's worked, was in Game of Thrones for about 12 episodes. Um, he also, interestingly, he voiced the Remnants in the Ghost Monument episode, uh, last season. Um, his character was brilliant. He did a very good job. He's having up and he really clearly enjoyed it, really getting into it. And oh, I really hope we see more of him. He did such a great job. He's such a memorable character. Um, you know, almost worthy of like sort of the Mega Man, sort of worthy of, you know, defeating the Master type character. He was marvellous. Um, other characters, the others, 
Tim, we, we see him a bit before, but they're very much on the sidelines. You know, you've got Ryan's friend Thibaut, played by, I want to read, but mess up this pronunciation, I'm sorry. Uh, Brom Fingang, I'm sorry, if, I'm sure I've messed up completely. Uh, we've got um, Tehira by Arunda Galavia, um, who's the one from Aleppo, and numerous other other characters appearing in this. Um, so, yeah, I quite liked that um, in this. Um, we also see some old faces as well reappear. Um, so, yeah, so, sidecasts. I mean, the sidecasts are also quite neatly done. So I think that, especially Tibbo, I thought was sort of uh, interesting how he was being portrayed and shown off the problems he's having. And it's quite clear they do it in quite a... Not, not uh, in quite a realistic way, um, which was quite nice, you know, the sort of feeling of loneliness that you can have in this situation he's in. They do it in quite a nice way, which I thought was quite good. But yeah, most like us are pretty, pretty good, but special mention has got to go to Ian Galdo as Zelen. He's, he's marvellous, absolutely marvellous. Uh, so on to production. So CGI monsters are CGI monsters. It. Um, they look okay. They're not great. Um, they look a rather... Passable CGI from like sort of five years ago. They're not so great in this episode. Um, luckily, you don't see too much of them, but perhaps you see that's at the same point in time we see too much of them. Um, so, the only episode scenes, but none of the scenes are particularly great when they show up. Um, I know it's a question, they don't show them moving around too much, which is probably for the best. They don't look marvellous. There's also some siege sci fi CGI of all some planets and so forth, which look kind of cool. There's also a neat little um, interlude, um, I won't spoil it, but a, a bit where it, it, the series sort of changes style briefly for a small segment, um, which I thought was quite cool, quite neat, um, and quite sort of set things up. So, yeah, I have to say I quite enjoyed that. So, yeah, the push was quite good for graphics and quality wise. Um, this episode was directed by Emma Sullivan. She's just directing next week's episode. So, and I enjoyed the way it was directed. So, and I thought, I, I will say, actually, the pacing of the episode was quite nice. It was fairly well done. Um, part of that, I felt that the dealing with the bad guys was a bit rushed, and the bit at the end was parts a bit too long. But other than that, it was pretty good, well paced overall. Um, written by Charlene James and um, this is her first episode you're in for Doctor Who and I'm quite to say quite a good little episode so hopefully you'll see some more from her because I thought it was quite a good and enjoyable episode so final thoughts yep I really like this episode well no that's not true I like this episode um, it was good it was enjoyable a um, bit better than last week's I would say it's going to be a great episode but I, I did enjoy it um, I, I like the plot I just felt they could have done more of the bad guys but you know it is what it is. So yeah, I quite enjoyed this. I did enjoy this episode very well. So much for watching. I've been Seth Graham. Um, I hope you enjoyed this review. If you have, please consider sort of um, subscribing and liking this video. Um, if you wish to see us in any future, I'll, I'm just seeing the rest of the season, obviously. Uh, we have other things on this channel. We do podcasts and what have you. And we'll be doing one at the end of this week on the 15th. We'll be broadcasting our next podcast uh, live on this channel at half past nine uh, GMT. Um, so if you want to see that, join us here you should join us on our Twitch channel uh, Round Nerds so thank you very much for watching um, I look forward to seeing you in the future goodbye